Is that... Naruto? That man is gone. Did he burn up into ash and disappear? I saved Bushier Brow Sensei! Saved him? What are you talking about? I don't quite understand it myself. I feel like I can change everything now. Seems like something happened to you. But in the end, nothing will change. You cannot defeat me. I have the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid. <laughs> We're going to defeat! You, Madara. Sasuke, you too. What's with them? How? Oh, how can they go this far? This is... Am I... dead? You aren't dead. Huh? This is the world of your mind. Just consider yourself in the space between reality and the afterlife. Uh, who are you, old man? I am a monk who's come to watch and see how Ninshu ends, surpassing all generations, traversing this world with Chakra alone. My name is Hagoromo Atsutsuki, the founder of Ninshu, also known as the Sage of the Six Paths. What? The guy who created Ninjutsu? Uh, if you're the Sage, then I have a lot of questions for you. The questions can come later. First, you should listen to what I have to say. No, you must. As the reincarnation of Asura, it's also your duty. Huh? Asura? What the heck are you talking about? Allow me to explain everything from the beginning about my sons and my mother. My mother, Kaguya Atsutsuki, came to your land from a very distant place. She came to harvest the fruit of the Divine Tree. In this war, you saw the Divine Tree as well, didn't you? She harvested its chakra fruit. She ingested the fruit, acquired its power, and then came to rule this land. But a power that's too strong creates conflict. In the end, people both worshipped her as the rabbit goddess and feared her as a devil. Then Kaguya gave birth to two sons. One of them was me. In order to atone for the sins that our mother left behind, we fought with the Ten Tails, the incarnation of the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree had gone berserk and was trying to reclaim the fruit that had been taken from it. It was a violent battle. We were both wounded, but we persevered, achieved victory, and sealed the Ten Tails inside me. Then some time passed, and I fathered two sons. I named the elder one Indra, the younger one Asura, and taught them about Ninshu. They were both my sons, but there was one big difference between them. One possessed genes that had strongly inherited my chakra, while the others was rather weak. 
Indra was truly a genius. He could do anything on his own, and took pride in how he was different from other people. In contrast, Asura never seemed to succeed in anything, and he wasn't able to achieve anything on his own. Therefore, he always put forth effort and depended on help from his allies. They also answered Asura's calls for help, which created harmony. Through watching how Asura lived, I caught a glimpse of a new possibility. That's when I decided to entrust Ninshu to Asura. But Indra wouldn't accept it. And thus began a long, long battle. The feud didn't end between Indra and Asura. Even after their bodies died, their chakra never disappeared. And over time, they were reincarnated over and over again. Naruto. Earlier I told you that you were the reincarnation of Asura. Now do you understand? And the current reincarnation of Indra is... Sasuke. Exactly. Indra's chakra dwells within Sasuke. My son's chakra moved from Hashirama and Madara to you two. Even now, after decades and centuries, the brothers' battle continues. So this whole time, great-grandpa, you've been watching your kids fight with each other? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Huh. Through Ninshu, I tried to explain that Chakra was here to connect individuals. But Kaguya used Chakra only for herself and unified the world with its power. But unification through power is nothing but a rampage. Therefore, she became a being to fear. The same could be said for Madara now. If he continues to acquire power, then eventually... I want you to stop Madara. The circumstances, your will, I feel something special in you compared to all the other vessels so far. That's why I'd like to place a bet on your potential. I've already placed that bet myself. Kurama! Me too. Eight to... Why are you inside me? Are we to pull apart of Shukaku's and my chakra out from Madara? He knew that there were a few tailed beast powers that you were lacking. Lacking? Did you forget? You've been receiving chakra from sources other than Shukaku and Kyuki for some time. Oh! You mean from back then? You're right! The other tail beasts did share their chakra with me earlier! It took a while, but now all the tail beasts are together! Which means the promised time has come. Naruto, it really seems like you do have a certain charm that invites others to help you. Shukaku! Matatabi, Isubu, Son Goku, Kokuo, Saiken, Chome, Kyuki, Kurama.
Naruto, what do you want to do? How do you hope this battle will end? I'm an idiot. So I don't really get all that Asura reincarnation stuff. But I know what it means to have friends. And I want to protect that. That's all. So that's your answer. Yeah. Entrusting everything to Asura is what created this calamity. Now I'd like to entrust my power to you as the reincarnation of Indra. Whatever happens beyond this point, Naruto, Sasuke, that's up to you. Sasuke isn't my real brother. But I know that we can come to an understanding. After all, we're really good friends. Now, raise your dominant arm. I never thought they would be able to push me back. Hear me, weakling who harbors fear. Uh, a voice? Take me inside you. Take it all. Take all of the divine tree inside you. Do that, and infinite power will be yours! I never thought the Divine Tree itself would bestow me with power. Naruto Uzumaki, Sasuke Uchiha. I have now acquired perfect immortality for all eternity. No matter how strong you get, you will never be able to stop me. <laughs> we haven't even fought yet, and you're already jumping to conclusions? <laughs> So be it. Then this shall be our final battle. that will change everything about the Shinobi world. Your desperate struggle. Awaken. 
You aren't supposed to go to sleep yet. Choose your own path and walk again. Which places with the shadow? This is bad. Kakashi Sensei's over there. <laughs> Finally. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Hurry up and take my left eye and... I don't think so. Come we! Sakura. Where? Kakashi Sensei! Sensei, the left eye! Where's Obito? I thought Madara jumped over too. Yeah, he did. But then Obito let me escape. Kakashi Sensei! Can I see that left eye for a minute? Huh? Okay. Kakashi Sensei, open your eyes. <sighs> no way. How did you do that? Hmm, well, it's kind of hard to explain. So that's how you saved Guy. Yeah. Enough talking. He'll be here soon. He must have both Rinnegan eyes now. He won't be like he was before. Prepare yourselves. Yeah! You haven't forgotten what I taught you during your first bell training, have you? Of course not! Teamwork! Then... Dying together is also a special type of teamwork, is it not? Obito... Obito isn't here anymore. This body is mine now. I gathered up the Tail Beast Chakra and acquired the power of the Divine Tree, and now I have acquired both Renegon eyes. You could even say that I have surpassed the Sage of the Six Paths himself. I have reached the realm of the gods. <laughs> Through a god's eyes, you look like nothing but a bunch of tiny, brittle creatures. Planetary devastation! So 
Naruto, did you figure it out? Yeah, he has four shadows now. Planetary devastation and the shadow Susano. Quite the combo. Now, writhe. Keep dancing for me. That the shadow of the too. Imagine it must be difficult to Show me the kind of plan I'll find a way out of this. Now just don't interfere. True battle begins now. Be careful. I have a bad feeling. here and now.
I cannot hold back any longer. This is not Enough already. Let's finish it with this next move, Sasuke. Yeah. Planetary 
military base station. Fall to you, maggots! 